Hi, I'm Sid Dobrin. In this video, I'm going to talk about teaching Paul Goodman's essay, A Proposal to Abolish Grading. I'll be talking about teaching his essay in the context of first year writing, and I'll be addressing the essay specifically from a rhetorical situational approach. When I teach Goodman's essay, I usually start by asking students some basic key questions. For whom does Goodman write? What else do you know about the situation in which he participates? What is Goodman's thesis? Where does he state it? How does he state it? That is, I want to encourage students to begin their writing to propose by looking at the situation and then developing a strong thesis designed for that situation. So I start by asking them to look for the same kinds of things in the Goodman essay. One of the first things that I talk with students about this essay is Kairos, or the timing of the essay. A proposal to abolish grading was first published in Goodman's book Compulsory Miseducation in 1964, 50 years prior to my reprinting it in writing situations. So I talk with students about the condition of education in 1964 as compared with today in order to help students better situate the essay in light of when it was published. I then ask students to talk about what it means to read this essay in a contemporary situation, asking if the proposal is still feasible, or even if it was ever feasible. We talk a good deal about the feasibility of the proposal and its connection to the timing of its position. Likewise, I want students to see how Goodman's proposal should also be read with another rhetorical purpose in mind, writing to argue. In this way, I talk with students about how proposal writing is a form of argumentative writing since the objective of writing a proposal is to convince your audience to accept the feasibility of the proposal. Proposals, that is, need to be persuasive. I should say, too, that Goodman's essay is also a great classroom discussion starter because students are usually eager to weigh in on the idea of grading and assessment. And I like to let students work through the proposal by discussing its implications at a larger cultural and institutional level. Obviously, when teaching essays like Goodman's, it can be easy to get caught up in the subject and devote a substantial amount of classroom or assignment time focusing on the content. Depending on your pedagogical objectives, this can be a good thing or a distractor. With this essay, I like to encourage good, analytical, critical conversation about the essay. So those are some of the key aspects of how I teach Paul Goodman's essay, A Proposal to Abolish Grading. I'm sure you'll have other approaches you find useful too that you might want to share as well. So how do you teach this essay? Post a response to this video, either in the comments section or as a video response, and share your thoughts on teaching this essay as well. Thanks for watching.